Haz and Meg depressed over under pressure to run deadline as fear that no one will remember them. According to royal expert Andrew Morton, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle must act fast if they are to have an impact before they are overtaken by the next generation of royals. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle face a time limit to really make an impact, according to a royal expert. Since stepping back from royal duties and moving to the US in March last year, the Sussexes have undertaken several projects including multi-million dollar deals with both Spotify and Netflix. Despite his comments, the Meghan expert was still keen to emphasize that the Sussexes are still important figures. He said that their recent trip to New York, where they rubbed shoulders with several American politicians, was a sign of their international prestige, and the fact that they're known by their first names like Madonna is indicative of their popularity. Yet, Morton also doubted whether Harry and Meghan could deliver on their multi-million dollar deals, citing the fact that so far they've only produced one podcast episode for Spotify as evidence. He concluded, it remains to be seen whether they'll be worth the money they'll be paid. Recently, they announced a plan to make their Archul Foundation charity carbon neutral by 2030, just one day after the Queen left them out of her speech at the COP26 climate summit in Glasgow. However, royal author Andrew Morton has now said that, in light of their rift with the royal family, Meghan and Harry must act fast to make a lasting impact. Speaking exclusively to Salon, the author of Meghan and the Unmasking of the Monarchy said that the Sussexes had done Prince Charles and Prince William a favor by jumping ship. With Charles and William drawing up plans to slim down the monarchy, Morton explained that Harry and Meghan would have been reduced to a supportive role as the Cambridge children came to maturity. He added, Meghan and Harry have got a generation to really make an impact. Then afterwards, it'll be, oh, Meghan who? In his updated version of Meghan and the Unmasking of the Monarchy released last month, Morton follows the life of Meghan from when she worked in a frozen yogurt restaurant to when she was dropping bombshells in her interview with Oprah. Charles will inherit the throne after Queen Elizabeth, and there are reports that he would like to slim down the monarchy. As a result, Harry and Meghan leaving the royal family was a step toward this new vision. I think the irony is that Prince Charles and Prince William saw themselves as being the leaders of the slimmed-down monarchy, Morton told Salon. In a way, Harry and Meghan have done them a favor by jumping ship, rather than being asked to walk the gangplank. They would have had a supportive role, and their position would have been progressively lower down the pecking order, as Louis, and Charlotte, and George, all came into maturity. Lilibet's christening has become a much-talked-about event, with the Bishop of Liverpool telling Express.co.uk that the Queen will be rejoicing and hoping that the ceremony takes place. Lilibet Diana is the five-month-old daughter of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle with speculation having surrounded her christening since her birth in June. Questions over whether it will happen in the US, the UK, or even at all, have surfaced in recent months. Some reports suggest that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are keen for Lilibet to be christened in the UK, but the coronavirus pandemic has made international travel more difficult. But the UK is now opening up to foreign travel, with the rest of the world closely following. Lilibet's brother, Archie, was born in May 2019 and christened at Windsor Chapel just two months later. An intimate ceremony, the Archbishop of Canterbury baptized the young royal in front of a small group of friends and family. He followed a long line of members of the royal family who have been christened, with Paul Bayes, the Bishop of Liverpool, noting that the firm has always set an example in regards to the ceremony. Christenings have an added element of significance given the Queen's position as head of the Church of England. Because of this, Bishop Bayes told Express.co.uk that, despite the uncertainty, the Queen would be rejoicing and hoping that Lilibet is christened. Rejoice!